nine times out of 10, you are just emotionally hungry. Hunger is an emotion. control your emotions and that is why you keep on overeating preventing you from actually seeing results during your weight loss journey so many of you guys are struggling with emotional hunger right now this was something that i used to struggle with on my weight loss journey i'm emotional okay i know how that is so when i was trying to lose weight i had emotional hunger cues i was operating based on my emotional hunger so i have a lot of videos on how to identify emotional hunger versus real hunger and i also talk about this on my community library so i'm going to sum it up for the people who don't want to hear it all over again but check out my weight loss community down below i'll link it that's where i post all my long forms so you guys don't have to hear me ramble but essentially the main difference between emotional hunger versus actual hunger is this if you are eating out of boredom if you're eating because you are sad if you're eating because you had a stressful day if you're eating because you're excited if you're eating because you just got engaged, if you're eating because your boyfriend just broke up with you, if you are eating as a result to how you feel, that is emotional hunger. I'm gonna give you guys the real, real truth on how you heal emotional hunger. Are you ready? Are you ready? You do nothing. You simply do nothing. Should I end the video right here or should I keep going? the way to heal emotional hunger is you do not give in to those emotions you do not give in you simply just allow the emotions to come through the first thing that you need to do is get yourself a journal random page but i journal all the time i should crop that out okay whenever an emotion comes up sadness depression anxiety excitement and you feel like going to eat that cake or going to eat those fries stop and feel the emotion it is going to be uncomfortable yes it will but that is the way you move through it being uncomfortable is not dangerous a lot of people think that i'm uncomfortable i'm in danger i should stop but actually being uncomfortable means that there's something that you need to address that you're not addressing that your body wants you to address because this can no longer keep on going to serve you so the first tip is get you a journal and journal journal your emotions journal why you feel these emotions and also journal why you feel that you have to eat through these emotions because that is why we cannot follow through on our weight loss not only weight loss this is why we go back into bad habits we spiral and i'm not here to bring more light on the situation because that happens to all of us and i don't want that to happen to any of us anymore because that is keeping us back we want to move forward so if we want to move forward we have to address the situation right then and there and not use food to mask it so that's the first thing i want you to do Go to your local dollar store, get paper, whatever you need to do, get a journal, write it, keep the journal so you can pick up on those patterns and habits. And the second thing that you need to do if you're suffering with emotional hunger is fasting. Fasting is going to be your best friend. And fasting just means lack of. So for example, you already know this is a raw vegan page and I always preach eating whole foods fruits and vegetable base. When I say mainly fruits, a lot of people get confused thinking that I mean just eat apples and oranges all day, but that's essentially not what I mean. Fruit is the reproductive part of a plant. So quinoa is indeed a fruit. Cal cauliflower is indeed a fruit. Kale is indeed a fruit. Chickpeas, beans, those are fruits because when you plant them and sprout them, they turn into the plant. That is the reproductive part of the plant. So People get fruits so confused and I can't blame us. We have all been brainwashed. But this is what I mean by eating whole foods and eating fruit based. So yes, you can have your quinoa, you can have your beans, but nothing processed. So I have a full um, food list that I'm going to link in the description where you can figure out what foods or what fruits to eat on this journey. Because this is a holistic 
health page so i am talking about holistic health as a whole i'm not going to tell you to lose all this weight or i'm not going to advise you to lose all this weight and not prioritize your health because losing weight does not make you healthy we all know this i want you to be your desired body size also healthy and not having to spend a fat check at the doctor in the hospital sick 10 years down the line or however long down the line because you are not prioritizing your health calorie deficit is not going to fix anything okay a calorie deficit is not going to fix anything. What fixes things is your diet. Your food is your medicine. Your food is your fuel. You cannot get any nutrients without ingesting anything. So that is why your food is so important, which means that is where the disease is coming from. The disease is coming from the food you put into your body. It's not coming from the germs or the bacteria. It's not always coming from your germs, your bacteria, or anything spiritual. It's what you feed your body period simple it's not genetics because genetics is actually a family history of horrible diet being passed down if i if all you see is your mom your grandma eating mcdonald's you're gonna be the next child eating mcdonald's so everything is food and food evokes an emotion whatever you eat evokes an emotion when you eat things like meat okay what happens to that animal? It gets slaughtered. It dies. It's in a lot of fear. It's in a lot of anger. And when you eat those foods, that evokes a lot of anger, a lot of violence into you, a lot of fear. Okay? And all these things can be felt through the gut. What happens when you get scared? You go, <gasps> you feel it in your stomach. You hold your stomach and you say, that frightens me. Because your gut is your second brain whatever you feel in your gut that's going to get translated to your brain and your brain is going to associate that with an emotion like i said in the beginning of the video i feel hungry you hold your stomach sometimes when you feel that in your stomach or when your stomach gargles or it goes whatever that's not hunger we associate that with hunger because that is what we've been taught we've been taught that when your stomach gargles that's hunger when that's not true whatsoever not all the time that's the cat so you have to take your emotions out of it. Okay, and the best way to do that is fasting. I'm going to share my fasting schedule. Make sure you screenshot this. Make sure you send this to a friend who's also struggling as well. If you've never fasted before, this plan that I'm going to screenshot is going to be the best plan for you. It's intermittent fasting. I don't like to call it that, but that's what everyone calls it. So I think that's what I'm going to call it because it's easier for people, for people who are just getting into it. This is the fasting schedule. Okay, so we talked about the food list that you can grab down below. I'm also going to link it here. You can screenshot it, but it's better to get it down below because if you screenshot it, it might be blurry, all that stuff. And then the fasting schedule, I'm going to have it on the screen. So you want to make sure your food is up to par, you're fasting. You want to starve those cravings, okay? Those parasites and those cravings. A lot of people, a lot of times when you're hungry all the time, it's not you. You're eating for two. You may have parasites. So this fasting is going to really help and the third thing i want you to do is when you break your fast break your fast with herbs break your fast with warm water and i want you guys to get this herb okay warm wood i'm gonna take it out the plastic bag okay and if you're in canada please hit me up i ship only in canada right now but th this is not my brand though but this is it deworms the body and it's in the name warm wood it's a wood that deworms the body from parasites and it helps with craving and it helps with those emotional hunger cues disclaimer this herb is bitter as day but it cleans the gut like no other herb ever known and it's so easily accessible you can get this at your local holistic health store cleans the gut like no other and this is why we give in to our emotions because we have cravings, the parasites that are craving these foods. We have to deworm the body. You cannot heal the body without deworming the body. You cannot heal the body without healing the gut. The gut is the second brain. The gut tells you how you feel and the brain processes it and labels it as an emotion like I'm hungry, like I just said. So this herb is amazing. I'm gonna show you guys again, it's called Wormwood. So the best way to take it is, I don't have a spoon, but get a spoon and get a spoonful, put it in the pot and then put some water, preferably spring water, okay? And have it simmer 
not boil, but simmer so it's kind of bubbling and then have it simmer. And then once it's done simmering, you want to take um, a, what's it called? The drainer or a sifter and put the water in, sift it into a mug and then let it cool, okay? You want to have warm wood cold, so it has a prolonged effect. Um, warm wood is best kind of colder, almost like a cold brew. Yeah. And it's also good because you're saving warm wood. You're saving the amount that you use. So it's a win-win, okay? So I think that concludes the video. Very short and to the point, but there's three things that you need to do if you want to control emotional hunger, lose weight, and have a flat tummy this summer because it's never too late you guys you start now and the first thing you want to tackle is those emotions so i hope this video helped you share it with a friend who needs it share it with anybody that you think needs this video and also guys like i mentioned i explain more in long form step by step on how to lose weight so if you're struggling check out my library down below it's community based so it's ever growing as well and i'm always uploading new things on it check it out it's on sale it's 50 percent off so you're definitely gonna want to check that out if you're struggling or if you need that extra push i love you guys